Major funding for Immortality Now was provided through an educational grant from Hotsi Vitamins. Founded in 1993 by Dr. Stephen F. Hotsi, Hotsi Vitamins is committed to delivering only the finest quality vitamins and supplements to meet your patient's needs. Now offering customized vitamin packs, Hotsi Vitamins is making it easier than ever for your patients to get well naturally. For more information, visit client.hotsivitamins.com. Dr. Ron Klatz with another episode of Immortality Now, where we bring you the uh, latest breakthrough science in the field of anti-aging medicine. My guest this evening is Dr. Eric Braverman. Dr. Braverman is a longtime supporter of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, a researcher of some note, a, uh, a best-selling author, has one of the most uh, impressive and uh, well-known uh, clinical practices in the field of anti-aging medicine in New York City, uh, is uh, an often quoted expert in the field of um, neurological aging. Uh, Dr. Braverman, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. So tell us now about your practice in New York City. What is it that you do there and what makes your practice unique? Our key thing in our practice is we do that brain-based, head-to-toe, computer physical. We believe that the computer can examine virtually every part of the human body piecemeal better. So we have uh, memory scales that are done by computer, working memory, auditory memory, complex attention, verbal memory, uh, uh, processing speed, attention, attention to omissions, commissions, reaction time, variable attention, different forms of processing speed, meaning brain speed called the P300. People think at 300 milliseconds, they're demented at 400 milliseconds, they got a tenth of a second to lose. Most people think at 300 milliseconds plus their age, so when they're 50, they're 350, when they're 40, they're 340, when they're 30, they're 330. So we, we can basically uh, chart out dementia, we can chart out the Terry Schiavo case, where people are in coma, we can chart out uh, people that are, uh, you know, brain dead. And so that war on Terry Schiavo, I predicted that she was brain dead. No one else kind of grasped that. So we have the ability to brain pro- get brain processing speed. We know the parameters of early dementia, which virtually everyone starts to get by 50, and a lot of people have by 40, which is atrophy in the pituitary, frontal, temporal, parietal, occipital lobes. It's usually when your voltage is down uh, 40% and your brain speed is of a typical 40-year-old, you're already forgotten. So What kind of technology? Are you employing in the clinical well, practice? We use an ultrasound physical. We have a, you know, which just means that we can go into the brain, get brain processing and voltage. We can go into the temporal lobes. We can go into uh, a host of various areas of the brain. And we know we have the ability to uh, look at the carotids and we get a, you know, arterial plaque and thyroid. We pick up the nodules and the echo. We pick up the heart valve abnormalities. We also know we have the ability to uh, help the liver. We know, uh, you know, pick up fatty liver oil gallstones, kidney stones, uh, testicular nodules, growths, early ultrasound abnormalities of the breast. And we obviously have an MRI, but we have a 15 times more powerful MRI. We call it the living autopsy. Uh, you, you, you know, you're stunned. As an athlete, I was stunned by my, you know, my tears, my, you know, people that come in with, you know, chondromalacia. They just, the first stages, they don't even know it with their knees. It's literally a living autopsy. We do every ankle joint section of the body. We do the brain. We do, a, you know, circle of will. We see pieces of the circle of will is missing. We see pituitary atrophy. And we have neuroquant that shows the damage to the hippocampus. So it's unbelievable. And yeah. we have between the PET scan and the 3T MRI and the in-house stuff, the brain mapping and memory and attention, we simply have a brain health checkup that's Star Trek all the way. Are you actually seeing uh, n- new areas of brain growth or repair or improvement in function or improvement in processing speed? Uh, uh, we're seeing brain uh, processing speed improve 40 years. We're seeing documented memory reversals, and we've had some of our first hippocampal atrophy at reversals. What about uh, hyperbaric oxygen? Are you using that or uh, CVAC? The idea of hibernating brain tissue, I think the problem is aging is where burnt, we burn up, we dry up, we swell up, and we uh, calcify and you know basically turn to stone. And then we're choked to death by our blood supply, and then we rust, and then we're an older caca. I think the big mechanisms there are not the hypooxygenation of brain tissue. It's it's the burn up or oxidation in general. So it's not low oxygen, it's oxidation in general. Then it's these other things like burn up, dry up, that the membrane integrity is destroyed, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we uh, burn up, dry up, swell up. I think the inflammatory processes where we, we basically, I look at dopamine as a flame, and then if you can't manage 
inflammatory process is, a, is an aging process of mismanagement of the flame. And then we, we definitely have to look at sleep disorder and uh, and make sure, and calcification disorders. Basically, the whole frame leaches. And, you know, basically, you become an osteoporotic person. Calcium fills up in the brain. Calcium goes into our fingers. Calcium goes into our, our hands, our noses, our faces. It goes into our gallbladder, our arteries, our heart, our heart valves. So I think it's pretty obvious that, uh, that individuals who uh, do this need to start looking very, very seriously at they can't become osteoporotic. You can't, you can't basically beat aging and become a shrinking old guy, a shrinking old part. You know, mm-hmm. and, and so we have this ability to recognize you burn up, dry up, swell up, and turn to stone as the four cornerstones right there. So you have to keep the brain young, and then you got to deal with those four problems, and then you got to deal with the rust, which is toxins, pesticides, plastics. I had a guy in the other day; he had so much plastic in him that we that he actually, when he moved his bowels, a credit card came out. <laughs> that's a lot of plastic. So that's the story. Let's talk about um, age-associated memory dysfunction. Because that's a concern, I think, number one concern of the baby boomers. Uh, what can someone in their uh, 50s, 60s, just noticing that just things aren't right for themselves, what can they do? I mean, short of, well, the, short of the whole enchilada, short of... Yeah, you, I think they've got to know that, you know, the brain controls the body and they're only as young as their oldest part. And I think that, you know, I think that's key for people. They really just have to know that the brain is number one in life. Mm-hmm. And uh, if they don't know that, then there's a problem. Are you optimistic about the new uh, uh, therapies that they're reporting on with regard to uh, uh, being able to dissolve neurofibrary tangles uh, with ultrasound? Really. Uh, once damage occurs in human bodies, it's really hard to get it back, you know? Mm-hmm. So these uh, new anti-Alzheimer's uh, uh, drugs, uh, you're not too impressed with no, the research on that? Tell someone to start if they're interested in uh, uh, beginning an anti-aging medicine program. Where do people go for the uh, most reliable information? They come to Path Medical. They go to Life Extension Magazine people. They go to Suzanne Summers people. They go to AFRAM websites. They go to the Brain Place, our place. We think, you know, obviously, you know, you and I have been doing this together for 25 years, basically. And, we, you know, we believe in what we do. Well, it was good talking to you. I'm glad we had a chance to uh, catch up a little bit. And uh, good luck. And uh, keep up the good work. Keep me posted in, in, uh, in regards to uh, your accomplishments. All right. Thanks, man. Immortality Now is made possible in part by Hoetze Vitamins, now offering customized vitamin packs. For more information, visit client.hoetzevitamins.com.